Here we have graphing a square root function problem type one. So it says graph the function f of x equals the square root of x minus four. Plot four points on the graph of the function, the leftmost point and then three additional points. Then click the graph a function button, okay? So what we need to do is find the leftmost point. That is going to be determined by us figuring out what the domain is. And then we can know which values to plug in, which one to start with, and then which ones to plug in from there. So if I take what is inside the radical and set it greater than or equal to zero, um, there's nothing to solve for here. And if I put that in um, interval notation, or even if you just graph it, here's zero, everything bigger. And then this is going to have a bracket because of the bar. So it's zero to infinity. That means that in my table, I would have to start with zero. And I can use anything bigger than zero. And I, because I'm in the square root, I want to make sure that I can do perfect squares. Otherwise, you get into decimals and square roots and things like that. Now, it's okay to have those because the content, computer will graph them. Um, but it's just a little bit harder. So I could use just one, two, and three if I wanted to, if I'm not concerned about getting perfect roots or non-perfect roots. So when I plug this in here, my plug in zero, I get the square root of zero and get out of the house minus four. The Y value is just negative four. When I plug in one, square root of one, get out of the house minus four. I get negative three. When I do the square root of two out of the house minus four, I get square root of two minus four. Now, in the computer, I will type exactly this as my point. But on paper, I have to be able to graph that and I cannot do it unless I know what decimal that is. So I know this is about negative 2.6. That's good enough for me. Now I'm going to do square root of 3 minus 4. Again, in the computer, they're going to want you to type the exact answer. But for me, I need to know where that is. So that's about negative 2.3. So when I'm graphing this on paper, I'm going to graph 0 and negative 4, 1 and negative 3, 2 and negative 2.6, so it's about right there, 3 and negative 2.3, which is about right there. So you can tell it's doing this thing, okay? And that's okay. That's what it's doing. If, the, if you're in the computer, you can grab the cursor and grab the pencil button and plot 0, negative 4, and 1, negative 3. You will not be able to plot these perfectly. So what you'll have to do is you'll have to click that button that has like a little X on it, and then it's going to open up a coordinate for you. So the X value that we're going to use here is going to be 2. The Y value, you're going to have to plug in exactly like that. And it will plot this point for you. Then you're going to click this button a second time and then plug in 3 for X and then square root of 3 minus 4 for the Y value. It will plot this, bo this point for you as well. And then after that, you're going to plot, I don't know what it looks like, looks like some kind of graph, but you're going to click the graphing button and the graphing button will actually draw the curve for you, okay? And so make sure that it does look like a square root curve, which is kind of like half of a parabola on its side, right? If I were to draw it like that, it would look like a full parabola on its side. But square roots look like half parabolas on their side. And so that is the graph there. Now, if I want to do the same thing for this problem, I can, but I have to figure out what that leftmost point is going to be. So take everything inside the square root, set it greater than or equal to zero, and then solve. 
I get x is greater than or equal to 1. So that means that 1 is the number I've got to start with, and I do have to pick x values that are greater than 1. So 2, 3, and 4. And so now I'm plugging these values into that function there. So the square root of 1 minus 1 is going to be 0. The square root of 2 minus 1 is 1. The square root of 3 minus 1 is the square root of 2. I don't know what that looks like. About 1.4. The square root of 4 minus 1 is going to be the square root of 3. And for me on paper, that's about 1.7. So on paper, I can graph this. This is 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4 right so we can graph 1 0 2 and 1 3 and square root of 2 use that button in the calculator and do 3 and square root of 2 and we'll plot it right where it needs to go so it will plot it right about there then do that button again and do 4 square root of 3 and it will plot that point about right here and then if you hit the graphing icon, it will draw the little um, curve, the rest of the curve for you. And so you'll get this value here. So remember, I'm just plugging in each of these values into the original. I did them all in my calculator and came up with all three of these answers. Since I'm drawing it on my paper, I needed to know what that looked like as a decimal number. Um, but as far as you are concerned and Alex, all you need to do is type this in the coordinates and it will plot that point for you. And then type this one in the coordinates, it'll plot this point for you, hit the graphing button and it'll draw the curve for you.